Hello, and welcome to another episode of our concept board tutorial series. Today, I'm going to show you how to share a board so you can collaborate with others. You find the share button up on the top right corner. You can then either invite others by searching for their name if they are part of your concept board account or type in their email address if they also are a registered concept board users. If you're not sure if they have a concept board account or if you want to invite guests to your board, go to the access settings and make sure that the toggle for anyone with the link and access is turned on. This way, you can just share the link to the board with anyone and they can access either by logging into their account or by just um, using the guest access so they don't have to register, they just have to enter their name. You can then also set a password. It gives you a predefined one here, but you can also set your own one um, and it will give you some um, necessary criteria that the password needs to have. So now anyone that accesses with the link will also need a password to be able to access the board. You can then also choose if editors can change settings and manage um, participants. So everyone who has editor rights in this board um, can also change, for example, these settings here. If you don't want to um, give this right to others, you just turn this off and this way only the board owner can change these settings. In the middle, you have the participants tab. Here you can see all the users that have access to this board. This only includes registered concept board users. So guests won't be um, listed um, on here. I also get to choose the role um, or I can still edit the role. So I can choose between editor, reviewer and reader and could also transfer the ownership here or remove the participant completely from the board. You pick the role within the access setting in here or if you invite specific users, you have it back here. But now we want to take a look on the different roles so you know um, in which role you should invite your participants. First of all, we have the role of an editor. In this role, um, users have access to every tool in the board. They can upload stuff, they can um, edit everything that is on the board, also stuff that they didn't put there. Um, and they have full access to all the tools in the toolbar. If you don't want to give all those rights to the participants that you're inviting to the board, you can choose the role of a reviewer. Here you see that the toolbar is already a bit smaller. So for example, they don't have access to the shapes anymore, um, but they still have the sticky notes. They can still also still upload files into the board, can still use the icons, for example. But one um, important thing is, um, in this role, they can't edit um, items that weren't created by them. So they can only edit um, the objects that they put on the board themselves. And the third role that you can choose is reader. So readers only have um, the browse tool. They don't have any tools available to edit anything in the board. So they can really just look through the board. I hope this was helpful and you now got a better idea on how to share your board and invite participants to your boards. Now it's your turn to share your boards and start collaborating. Happy collaborating!